thank you, Dr. J.C. Chong, our guest tonight, who is a research entomologist at the PD Education and Research Center over in Florence. And you took your time to come to see us. We're so pleased that you could leave the laboratory. It's and, uh, my pleasure to be here. And, um, you know, that we constantly get questions about scale insects, scale insects, scale insects. And I think you've got some great examples and advice for us tonight. Absolutely. And this is a critical time to control for scale insects because Within about two or three weeks, you are going to start seeing a lot of crawlers coming. Crawlers? Up. Right. Crawlers are basically the uh, youngins. Oh. They come from the eggs uh -huh. of those scale insects. And crawlers are a whole lot easier to control than the real big ones. All right. Well, I think you've got some photographs for us. And let's see if we can get those up on the screen. Sure. And this is a willow oak, perhaps, is what yes. you say? Uh -huh. Yes, it's a willow oak. And uh -huh. uh, it's very heavily infested with, uh, well, it, it's a species of soft scale. Ooh. called the oak lacanium scale. Uh -huh. As you can see, a That's little twigs a could, yeah. could cover quite a few of them. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get a close-up of it, uh, this oak lacanium scale, they Ooh. look kind of roundish, globular, brown. Now, within each one of them, these are all female. Within each one, there's going to be 3,000 to 6,000 eggs. Oh, my word. Within it. And just getting ready to hatch and then spread out all over the That's place. That's right. Like I say, in about two weeks, they're going to hatch. And now, they're going to be all over the place. This is um, on a, could be on a large, or willow oak can be a large tree. Does this usually cause a lot of damage to the plant? Not mm -hmm. necessarily. If it's a large, well-established oak tree, they usually could withstand quite a few of infestation. Now, small tree, you might have to treat for them. Well, and that's fortunate because you might be able to spray a small Absolutely. tree or apply a Absolutely. systemic. Absolutely, because right now, what I usually recommend folks do is to spray a horticulture oil. Uh -huh. And to spray horticulture oil at about the time the crawlers are coming out, that would be the best time for Well, that. I had a gentleman who came in today with that exact problem, and, I, and he said his tree was 80 feet tall and it looked great. And I said, I'm sorry that you looked at it so closely and go home and look at something else because, as you say, on a well-established, healthy tree, probably it can withstand it. And sometimes we see things and we are frightened, but trees can Absolutely. adapt to it. Absolutely. Well, what else have you got for us that's happening well, out there? Well, when <clears throat> the, the soft scale, one way they can really damage a tree is by removing a lot of plant nutrients. Oh. They are relative of the aphids, uh -huh. so they suck up all the plant juice. Now, a lot of times the excess plant juice is going to land on the leaves, creating a really sticky and shiny leaf surface. Oh, and so what that, we call that, that is honeydew. That turgor of the fluid flowing through them, they can't extract all the nutrients. And so some of it's going to come out some of there. Some of it is going to land eliminate. on the leaves. And Ooh. also land, land on your car and everywhere. <laughs> that's right. That, that's right. That. And when the honeydew is starting to land on the a structure, a black pseudomo oh. is going to start growing on it. Because it's a wonderful medium Absolutely. for that. Absolutely. We do have a picture. All right. Of uh, Sudimo. Oh, we right do. There. there you go. And as you see, it's a uh, holly leaves infested with uh, Florida wax scale. And you see those fuzzy black things on it. Those mm -hmm. are the black Sudimo. And I guess if you have enough of that, it can decrease the ability of the plant to photosynthesize. Absolutely. Can it? And in fact, a lot of time plants are very heavily infested. Oh. As you can see in the next picture, right there. Oh, gracious. You got all kinds, all the scale insects on the leaves, mm -hmm. and you got all the honey, uh, honeydew and also the sooty mold on it, it's going to reduce the photosynthesis of the uh, plant itself. So this plant has scale on the upper and lower surface, is that correct? Most of the scale insects would feed on both leaf surface, I and some of them would feed on the twigs as well. Is that right? Well, that's of course right. we saw that on the willow oak, didn't yes. we? Yes, yes. Most and that's why when you have all these black sooty mold, if you, step, if you take a step back, look at the whole plant, the whole plant's not going to look too mm -hmm. nice. No, it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, and so you say that there is a relatively safe and effective way that we can control this on the plants that are small enough to spray. Right. If it's small enough to spray, you can always use horticulture oil. Horticulture oil is a very refined petroleum oil. Mm -hmm. And you can just mix it up in the water and just spray it on a small tree. Make sure when you spray it, you want to make sure you cover the entire canopy, both the upper leaf surface and the lower leaf surface just to cover the for good, ground. For good yes. control. Now, are there limitations as far as the temperature when you should put that in? Absolutely, and horticulture oil works best if it's above 55 and below 90. 
So that's a good temperature range you should shoot for. And you say the um, crawlers are getting ready to emerge, so this would be a good time for us to start looking, Absolutely. making these applications. Yes. All right. Yes. Now, so many people have been calling us, and they're go saying that their front doors or their walkways are covered with these red moving carpets of little mites and things, yes. and that they're biting them and just driving them right. crazy. Right. What is going on? Well, as you can see on the screen right there, that's a close-up of the mite. That's what we call a clover mite. Now, the common name is a little bit misleading. They do not just feed on clover. They also feed on tough grass, dandelion, and everything else in between. So they are vegetarians? Yes, they are vegetarian. Now, a lot of people complain about them biting them on the porch. And uh, well, I have not got bit by them before. And the clover might really have a very weak mouth pop to actually do any kind of damage at all. So what might happen is if they get on you, it might just make you feel itchy all over. That, that, yeah. that would be my guess. That's probably what's happening. And then we have had people calling and writing on our Facebook page with plants that have just been covered with these foul-smelling insects. Well, foul-smelling... Can you smelling, identify that for us? Foul-smelling is an understatement. If you've got a lot of it, like what Robert saw, you are going to smell them very good. These are the uh, infamous kudzu bug. Um, these are relatively new introduction to our state. Not on purpose. Not on purpose. It just uh, kind of hitchhiked on somebody's luggage, most likely, got into airport, spread over here. Actually started out uh, as an infestation in Atlanta, Georgia in 2009. By 2011, we got it all over South Carolina. People are saying that they're on um, bright parts of their house with or bright colored, uh, white colored cars and things, and they want to do a lot of spraying. But I've discouraged that. I'm afraid that that's not going to do much to control this. Right, is it? right. In fact, a lot of people calling in wondering if that this kind of uh, kudzu is going to kill their plant. They're low quad, they're fake. Uh, my answer to that is probably not, because the kudzu bug is a specialist for soybean and beans and anything that's in the legume family. Like kudzu. Like mm -hmm, kudzu, mm -hmm. and also wisteria as well. Now, if you're not growing soybean or if you're not growing beans, I'm not going to worry about it. All right. They're probably going to congregate on, on the fig, on the low quad, but they're not doing any kind of damage. Okay. They're just waiting for something to grow that they can go and have a good snack Absolutely. on. Absolutely. It's almost like a launching pack for them. Okay.